What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And yesterday was a big day for uh, Modern Warfare. There was a lot of things announced that a lot of the community is excited about. And of course, one of the things that was uh, kind of talked about yesterday that I didn't even know about or even was going to be in game was the ability to have your pre-order bonuses carry over from platform to platform. Now I read about this on multiplayer first, so I will link this article down in the description below. But there was a question asked about you know, if they ordered, uh, a person asked, if they ordered the uh, Operator Enhanced Edition on PS4, would they get all their bonuses, including the COD points, from PS4 if they bought the Standard Edition on PC? And of course, Activision responded saying, if you have a pre-order and it is the Operator Enhanced Edition for PS4, then you should still receive the pre-order incentives even if you have the Standard Edition or even if you purchase the Standard Edition on PC as well. So I'm assuming... Everything that you uh, get for a pre-order bonus, COD points and skins, whatever the case may be, whatever edition that you have pre-ordered, will carry over from what they have stated. will carry over to other platforms if you decide to purchase the game on another platform. And this is pretty big news because, you know, some people may decide, you know, they want to go play it just on PC with their friends or just Xbox or just PS4. They might not want to play cross-platform all the time. And it is good news to know if you do buy the game again or if you have to buy the game again to play on another platform, that you won't have to buy an edition, you know, that has extra stuff with it. You can just buy the standard edition and all of your pre-order bonuses will roll over from the, you know, edition that you bought originally. So I think this is a, a pretty big step forward. Of course, this goes kind of hand in hand with the stats carrying over from platform to platform and the unlocks carrying over from platform to platform. I think Call of Duty has done a lot of things this year, uh, kind of steps in the right direction that I'm hoping a lot of different developers will take into mind or kind of take into consideration, you know, when they're making a game. Because cross-platform is definitely going to be the future of gaming just in general. That way you can play with anyone, you know, uh, no matter what platform they play on. And the ability to be able to carry your stats over and your, you know, unlocks and things is, is a big thing. Of course, Destiny has just recently done this for Destiny 2. So hopefully a lot of games will start going in this direction. But I do think that the ability to have your pre-order bonuses... Uh, carry over from platform to platform is also a big thing because just for example you know you can might find call of duty on sale at some point maybe you purchase the game now you find it on sale let's just say black friday or, or christmas or something like that and you might want to go play with your friends on a different platform it is nice to know that those you know those pre-order bonuses that you had on your original copy that you bought will carry over to your other platforms as well i, I think the game is starting to kind of shape up to be a little bit more impressive than a lot of people were expecting. You know, a lot of us were expecting a lot of loot box issues. And of course, yesterday we did get that announcement. The game will not have loot boxes or supply drops ever. Hopefully Activision will stick to that and just go kind of with the battle pass with the cosmetic thing. I think that is a big step forward for Call of Duty in general. Also, all the stuff I talked about just now, you know, that is a big step forward to be able to carry all of this over. So I, I think it's really shaping up to be like I said, more of an impressive uh, kind of feat, just not game-wise, but how they're handling all of the extra stuff within the game. I think that's going to interest people or get people's interest peaked more now that the, some of the stuff has been announced. I know some people were unhappy with the way they thought things may go, so they weren't sure if they were going to purchase the game or not. I know some people had canceled pre-orders for you know one reason or another. I think Activision was smart by doing all this, and now they're probably going to get more people interested in purchasing the game if they weren't really sure what they were going to do, you know, a month or so back. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is a good idea? And, of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you do have time, make sure you click the share on this video. It will help me out a lot. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.